Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. The cell has a problem. In order to stay alive, it must be able to move water, glucose, and ions like sodium across the cell membrane and into the cell. The problem is these molecules cannot pass through the cell membrane, or in the case of water, can pass through the cell membrane, but it is slow and difficult. The good news is that all three will be moving down the concentration gradient. You know, from high to low, the only way to go. So what is the cell going to do? Never fear, facilitated diffusion is here to the rescue. In order for glucose, ions, and polar molecules like water to enter the cell, their movement must be facilitated by proteins that span the membrane and provide an alternate route into the cell. In fact, most water enters and exits the cell through channel proteins called aquaporins. Water can pass through the cell membrane through a simple diffusion because it's a small molecule. However, because water is polar, this process of simple diffusion is relatively slow and the majority of water passes into the cell using an aquaporin. The use of aquaporins is a type of facilitated fusion which is passive transport but uses either a channel protein or a carrier protein to assist or facilitate the movement of certain molecules or ions across the cell membrane. Thanks for watching and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.